Hey guys, it's Dio again, and now, not Dio, oh my god, it's Shirogane, and I'll be demonstrating alternate universe Diego. That is such a mouthful, so I just scream Diego as his name because it's disgusting. That's like a mouthful. I will never say that in public. So, so with Diego, your main purpose is to get off the fucking horse. Do not battle with the horse on. You're basically like Mister. You support your character, um, your partner's main target, and just spam. That's the reality of it. Do you see the damage? Do you see this damage? Do you see that? That's just a bullet shot. And mind you, um, Dio's a vampire, and he's he ate so many little shots in the face. So yeah, this is his main attack. Is this whole triangle? And it's basically unblockable, but you can block it, but it breaks guard the second it hits you. So it just leaves you wide open. So again, if if you don't want to be cheesy, just don't use that skill at all. But instead, go around, touch everything, put wires everywhere. The R2 is just a better version of wires. It it blocks everything. It blocks projectiles, everything. So again, if you're supporting your partner, you just uh, try to attack from behind. Place oil. Just place oil, do combos, go crazy, and if you really need some distance, you call your horse, and that's the X skill. You just go crazy. And his horse cannot throw the oil canisters straight. He only throws oil canisters behind him. And if you see it, it's pretty transparent, but this is the oil right here. If anyone steps on it, their body becomes covered in oil somehow. So yeah, and it's best just to do that everywhere. So again, you can only throw oil backwards, and the L2 version just basically, basically throws his oil further. And the really only way to throw oil forward is if you completely stand still, and that's unreliable, so don't do that. So again, just recap, touch everything, make everything a death trap. Somehow he can throw this, while other characters cannot. So it's really weird. Like, I don't know how he has the mental, like, the physical strength to do that, unless they're made, that's made out of plastic. So again, find a corner if you're cheesy, and just spam this. A lot of people spam this, but that takes no skill and it's it's just broken. So again, support your support your partner. See, before the patch, um, they will detonate right after they're done getting hit. Oh fuck you, Dio. And <laughs> now it de they detonate immediately. So. So yeah, now they, they, it, it just detonates immediately, but it's harder to combo into it now. And another thing that's lame about Diego is that he cannot dash. If I press the L2 button and the L2 is to dash, the world comes out. It's instantaneous, it does surprise people, but it's just one of those things that, okay. And yeah, if you hit someone in the back with a bullet, it does 50% health damage. It's ridiculous, right? And he has a three hit combo. One, two, three. He does have a knockdown square triangle. And he does have a knock up for whatever reason. And he can connect into it. So, yeah, that's that. So, this is your best bet is to block off corridors. And just um, take advantage of the surroundings. And support your partner whenever possible. And yes, if you do that, you can do this twice on world crashed enemies. So, regularly the bullets do 30% damage to hit from the front. And if they've knocked against the wall, you can do 60% more damage to him. He went off on him. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's just the generalization of Diego. And, of course, he can stop time with R1. And I will not stress over this as much as possible because... The only way you should be doing the time stop... Is because... You only do a time stop after your partner hits an opponent with DHA. And... If you want to be uh, like an asshole and just take someone up after you knock them down like this, do a hard knockdown, stop time, and go like that because that connects every time. And stopping time resets invincibility frames, so you can just go in on someone. So if someone lost their health bar, you can stop time and do a DHA and they'll just wake up with a half an health bar plus a destroyed one. So you can just keep going like that. So again, 
in the matches, if they're oiled, if they're oiled, um, they do detonate. But it's just one of those things that you just have to keep in mind. Because for whatever reason, um, actually, one of the best pairings you can do is Diego and Avdal. Because um, Avdal can just detonate anyone that's oiled. Anyone that has fire attacks, like um, Narancha. So, yeah, this is supposed to detonate. Don't know why it's not. But it does detonate if it lands on a certain oil trap. So if anyone steps on this, they become oiled. But you can cut someone off their, if they're running towards you with this. It just detonates. But you should not be putting oil everywhere because that's disgusting. So... Just go crazy. That's just really D Diego, and just like support your partner as much as possible. And again, his L2, he doesn't dash. He just does an instantaneous world attack with shit range. And his regular triangle throws knives. And you can combo break out of this like that. But that's just a waste. Don't do shit like that. So one more time. I really hate um, Tio Brando. So, in stop time, they do not detonate. Yeah, he just got destroyed by oils. So like that. So this is Diego, alternate universe Diego, and I know I'm <laughs> Diego Brando. <laughs> I know, like I in the comment section, I did um, describe him a bit. Of a turtle character, but really you can just go crazy and just support your character, um, your partner, at all times. But it's kind of it's kind of hard to go solo because he can't dash and he's like very lazy. And he needs like his horse to bring him everywhere. But since this is a like a small stage, it that's allowed. So again, Diego Brando.